I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. I do not own the rights to the music. God bless you, everybody. God bless you, Sister Vanessa. This is the Lord's name is to be praised ministry from the rising of the sun and the going down to the same. The Lord's name is to be praised. I believe it's Psalm 113 and 3. Praise God. Today, we're going to talk about forgiveness. Forgiveness. Praise God. And uh, sometimes people hold grudges and they can't turn it loose. But Jesus can help us. We got to turn it loose. We're commanded to forgive. Praise the Lord. I'm on this Sunday at 10 o'clock on, on Facebook. Tune me in. Um, and praise God. And at 12 o'clock, my pastor, Superintendent Elorazno Bradley, will be bringing forth the word. And on Tuesday, Prayer and Bible Band, First Lady Dorothy Bradley will be teaching the Prayer and Bible Band along with our pastor, Elder Superintendent Elder Reginald Bradley. We're going to go, we're going to pray. We're going to go into uh, forgiveness. Get your Bibles out. Read along with me. Pray, Father, we just thank you for your goodness. Lord, we thank you for all that you've done. Your mercy, Lord God. Oh, Lord, I just thank you right now, Lord God, for another day you woke us up that we never seen today, Lord God. Oh, God, move on those that are hurting, Lord God. Oh, God, move upon them, Lord God, to give the cash that cares, cares all of us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us. Oh, God, we thank you for all things, Lord God. Oh, God, look on the world. Look on the nation, Lord God. Save the unsaved, Lord God. Give me what to say and what not to say, Lord God. Oh, God, anoint the word. Give me, The word is anointed, but give me what to say, Lord God. Move on me, Lord God. Lord, we thank you for all things in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. I appreciate you joining me today. And today we're going to talk about forgiveness. Praise God. Forgiveness. Uh, you know, for, you know, when people don't forgive, it causes a lot of sickness and different things in, uh, uh, naturally in the body, physical, physically and mentally. But we're going to talk about we got to forgive like Jesus forgave us. And we, gotta, we must forgive. It's commanded to us. Praise God. And if we don't forgive the sins that we're up that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God will be put back on you. Won't be forgiven for what you did. Praise God, we don't forgive. So uh, Matthew 6 and 12 says, And forgive forgive us our debts as we have given, as we also have forgiven our debtors. Praise God. So in other words, it is a saying that, Lord, forgive us of our sin as we forgive those who sinned against us. And the Bible lets us know that offenses will come. Woe to who the offenses will come. And in, in, uh, I believe it's uh, Luke 7, uh, Matthew, Matthew 18 and 7. Read just this. Praise the Lord. Woe unto the world because offenses. Now people are going to come against you, hurt your feelings and different things. And sometimes we're guilty of, of, hurt, uh, of hurting someone else's feelings. Not even, sometimes we do things Consciously and not even not even knowing that we offend, and I thank God for the Holy Ghost that will that will uh, reprove the world of sin and let us know that we need to go to a brother or sister or someone and get it and get it right. You know, ask their forgiveness. You know, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. We got to give God wants to give mercy to others, and because there come a time where we need merciful, we need to to we need mercy ourselves. I thank God for the mercy that He bestowed upon us. I love it so much. But the but woe unto the world because of offenses, for it it must need be that offenses come. It's necessary that offenses will come. Praise God, praise the Lord. And the, but woe to the man by whom the offenses come. You know, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. I will repay. God is going to take care of the situation. How people sometimes take advantage of it. The Bible says, "If you live godly, you suffer persecution." And uh, God is in complete control. He has complete control. But we got to forgive. And uh, let me read on down to. But forgiveness means to pardon somebody or give somebody mercy. And you not hold and you know when you love people, uh, it doesn't it uh it doesn't 
count up the the things that people have done. You know, God forgave us of all our sins. Pray, love, uh, love covers a multitude of sin. Praise the Lord. Matthew eight and twenty one says, then came Peter to him, came to Jesus and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Till seven times. When I see seven, that's a completeness. Seven is seven times, and twenty two. Of Matthew eighteen twenty one says, Jesus said to him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but unto seventy times seven. I believe it's four hundred and ninety. And you know that doesn't mean you just person keep sinning against you, keep sinning against you. And uh, four hundred and seven keep it, and that's it. The line is drawn at four hundred and ninety. No, it's unlimited. Praise God. We don't, and so uh, unlimited times like. Praise the Lord. So we err our own. Sometimes we offend other people. Praise God. And uh, sometimes we uh, sometimes we err ourselves with others by making judgments without the facts. Praise God. And have and have to ask forgiveness. Sometimes you offend someone else. You might say something to someone else. He didn't mean it. Spoke too fast. The Bible said we got to be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. Right? You missed. Okay. Praise the Lord. So God wants us to listen first. Sometimes we answer a matter before we hear the whole, the whole situation. And you offend. Sometimes we offend people. We have to ask for forgiveness. Praise God. So if someone sins against us, we must be willing to forgive and be merciful. Whoever, whatever the offensive is, blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. There are times, like I say, there are times where we need. I need mercy myself. Uh, maybe I have offended. Some, I have offended someone. I said something, and didn't the Lord dealt with my heart? You go back and repent. Eighteen thirty-five, uh, Matthew say, "So likewise, shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if from your heart you got it from your heart, you really mean it. You don't want to do that again. That situation, forgive. Uh, it's from your heart. If you don't forgive people from your heart, it's got to be on the inside. Every uh, for your brother that." Transpass against you that offends you, you you know. Uh, God's gonna do the same thing for you. He's not gonna forgive. He's not gonna forgive your brother or people that trespass against you. You got to forgive. Praise God, and it's got to be from your heart. And if it's from your heart, you ain't gonna keep doing the same thing to that person over and over again. You, if it's from your heart, you're gonna you're going to uh, you know you're going to you'll realize your error and repent and. And go from there. Praise God. Hallelujah. Press toward the market. I, I call it, which is in Christ Jesus. Praise God. But, uh, so if we if we do don't forgive, God in heaven will not forgive us for our sins. He paid a great price that I could I couldn't pay for what He's done for all of us. What He's done for the world by giving His life for the sins of the world. We all have sin and come short of the glory of God. He died. His His uh, He died. In my place, for the world's place, because he, he carried the, the um, he he bore the sins of the world in his body when he hung on the cross. When we re, when we repent and ask Jesus to come in our heart, people have not accepted the Lord. When we repent it, when you repent, ask God to come in your heart. We're baptized by God's Spirit into the body of Christ, spiritually baptized uh, by God's Spirit. Praise God. We take on the nature of. Of, of, of the Lord Jesus praise God hallelujah new creature the old man's crucified he died praise God and we don't act like him when people offend us we love but the enemy wants you to hold a grudge he wants to he wants you to turn away from people but one thing about God's love though he didn't turn away from us while we're yet in our sins Christ died for the ungodly and the flesh don't want want to push people away but God wants to show the love of the Lord praise God to show his love praise God hallelujah and uh, praise God and so any man being Christ he's a new creature old things pass away behold all things become new so so and then when when we ran new creature we're a born again believer so God commands us this is a command for us to forgive he wouldn't ask us to do something that we could through Christ we wouldn't be able to do praise God and we uh so we had to submit to his word, and God would take over. Praise God. God would take over and help us. Praise God. Uh, so if we don't forgive, like I say, Jesus won't forgive us. 
uh, John 20 and 23, uh, whosoever sin ye remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sin ye retain, they are retained. And it, it's so if you forgive, if you forgive uh, anyone's sin, they are forgiven. Praise God. But if you do not forgive, they are not forgiven. So we repeated the same thing. We got to forgive. God commands it. So the Bible lets us know in Rome in Roman thirteen eight says, "Owe no man anything. So don't owe, owe any. Don't owe anybody anything. But to love one another. I owe you love. I, and I owe you the love of the Lord. This is a godly love. For the, he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. Praise God. And Jesus fulfilled the law. Praise the Lord. And uh, we can fulfill the law by uh, loving the Lord with a whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, everything. And you love your brothers, you love yourself. That fulfills the law. Praise God. This is a godly love, unconditional love. Praise God. We have to look past the people. God looked past our fault. We have to look past people's fault. And God saw our needs. Praise God. So Matthew 6 and 14, so for, for if ye therefore, so if you forgive men their trespasses that offend you, because in this world you're going to get we going to get offended. Your heavenly Father also will forgive you. And Mar and uh, Matthew six and praise God. So fifteen says, but if you, uh, I'm repeating it. This is scriptures. I'm just going with these scriptures. And if you uh, forgive not men who trespass, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Praise God. It's really bad. We, we got to forgive. And I thank God because you know then when you do. You know, when we forgive, it takes a load off you. When you give it to the Lord and repent, don't worry about that person. And, and, and just, just a lot of times people worry about people, and a person is somewhere uh, not even thinking about you, worrying about thinking about something else, and people are holding grudges and is eating them away on the inside. The Bible says, if you, okay, 15, I mean, uh, God gives us the strength. He wouldn't ask to do something we couldn't do. He gives us the strength through Him. Uh, when we submit to his word, he walk in the spirit and won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. The flesh is holding grudges, hating. All these things come out the heart. Praise God. But we replace when we take on the nature of love, we put this love, joy, peace, long suffering. Praise God. Praise God. So if we refuse to forgive others, God Father and Father will not forgive you. So God gives us the strength to do what He wants us to do. Come from the Lord. I can do all things through Christ will strengthen me. Praise God. I was some Praise God. And when you don't have and when you don't have the power when you're trying to yourself, you're so hurt. But when you when you know that it is not in you, it's in the Lord to give you the power to be able to forgive. If you have to yield to that yield to the spirit of the Lord, and the Lord will work it out for you. He'll take that he'll take that this that uh, fleshly uh, uh fleshly uh, feeling away. And we replace it with spiritual things. Cause we we we're seeking help from the Lord. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Leads us to God is in all truth. They say when you know that it is not in you to forgive, then you have to find it in Christ. And God will He'll give us us His desires of His heart. God will give us desires of. He put His desires in us. Praise God. I can do all things as Christ would strengthen me. Philippians four twelve and thirteen. Praise God. So does it mean that a person who wrongs you? doesn't have to take responsibilities for his actions or her actions. No. And you know, the Bible says, Benjamin is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. We got to love our enemies. We got to pray for people that despise when they use us. Praise God. Now, heap up. Uh, uh, I can't think of the rest of it, but no, but you have to. We, But but you have to. Uh, I think it's heap of coals upon you. Praise God. No, but you will will be free from the thought of hate, those fleshly thinking about hating us and bitter thoughts. And the burden there, it's such a burden to carry a bitterness and uh, unforgive, unforgiving, not forgiving people. Praise God. Forget, uh, forgiveness is not only done by the sake of the one you are forgiving, but it also helps you too, so that you don't have to live with that burden. We give it to the Lord. It is, and, and God, we're able to greet the people with the love of the Lord, and to, to love Him with the love of the Lord. Praise God. Now, praise God. No grudges. It's, a, it's cast to, to the Lord. It's important to note that the forgiveness is not a, forgiving someone is not a feeling. It's a choice that you want to obey the Lord. Choosing forgiveness will mean that you 
have to go to God on your knees for the power to forgive. It's choosing not to let thoughts of hatred rule in your heart. The Bible said, let not sin rule in your body that you may obey in the lust thereof. That's the old, you know, the old flesh. We are spirit, born again of the spirit, praise God, of God's spirit. It's, it's choosing to go uh, God, to, to go to God to find help and comfort instead of dwelling in the past. You have to let the past alone, praise God. Even when our feelings would rather do that. Sometimes your person feeling going, you have to say, the Lord rebuke me, rebuke you, praise God. The power we need is for this we get from the Holy Ghost, come from the Lord. God gives us power, praise God, with that new nature. Forgiveness is, to re is a release of anger and of the release of the right to hold a grudge when we forgive. We don't hold grudges when you forgive. Releasing anger, that's what it does. So the Bible says to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us, praise God. He would take your burdens and give you the peace of God that passes all understanding to keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. We give him our hurts and pain, and he, and he gives us this peace of God. Praise God. Passes all understanding. Praise God. And you know, a lot of things that we go through, and these uh, our faith is being tested and tried, in the, and God is building us up in him and up in his whole, up in our up in the whole, up our, up in our holy faith. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a God of all comfort. Praise God. And whatever you stand, whenever you stand praying, forgive. If you have anything against anyone. So that the Father also who is in heaven may forgive you for your trespasses. Praise God. You got to, uh, Mark eleven twenty five. Like I say, forgiveness is an expression of love. Praise God. According to uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 1 and 13, love keep us no record of wrongs. God is love. And we we are commanded to, like I said, we are commanded, there's no option to forgive. We must forgive others with the same way, the same way Jesus. I want to forgive like Jesus for, uh, for, forgave me. Praise I want to forgive that same way. You will. I send you the hope of glory. You got to forgive. So Jesus is our example. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Ephesians um, uh, 1 and 7 says, In whom we have redemption. He redeemed, he redeemed us through his blood, the forgiveness, forgave us of our sin, according to the riches of his grace. Our merit favor. Our merit favor. We didn't deserve. So we come in com like conflict in this world. Offenses will come, and they need to come. God molds us and makes us. Even in the scripture, you can think about how Joseph. Uh, in uh, uh, Genesis, how he went through a lot. He, he was sold by his brothers, and and uh, part of his wife lied on him. And then uh, this, uh, then the uh, the uh, baker, and I think I can think of the other one that the other one. He God gave him ability to interpret dreams, and he told them both their dreams. And and uh, the one of the I think it was the the uh, one of them didn't forget that didn't die. Uh, didn't tell them that, that didn't tell when he got out of jail to uh, uh, the, he didn't tell about what happened to Joseph Joseph said remember me when you get when you get out of the uh, come out of jail he didn't but it was a point in time where he remembered when the king had a dream praise the Lord so but God all this the devil meant it for evil for him but God meant it for good all these different trials God he went through Joseph and it made a, you know God molded and made Joseph. He didn't sit up and mope on what somebody did to me, what was wrong to me, who did this and that. Praise God. Uh, praise the Lord. But the man, the devil made it for evil, but all things work together for the good but for them that love God, which are called according to God's purpose. Praise God. Uh, uh, Ephesians 4 and 32 says, But be one, be kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiving you praise God so God wants us to love one another tender had a soft soft hearted uh, uh, don't mind uh, apologizing or it, uh, just being tender hearted praise God in verse uh, we are commanded by okay uh, praise God Colossians 1 and 14 said for whom we have redemption through his blood through God has redeemed us okay Hebrews eleven thirty 30 said but we know him that has 
said, vengeance is mine to the Lord, I will repay, I will recompense. So don't worry about those people. God's gonna take care of all all uh every God's gonna um recompense. You'll reap what you sow. That's what I mean to say. Praise God. Ephesians four and twenty six, be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down on your wrath. Get it right with a person. Someone offend you or you offend someone. Get it right before the sun go down on your wrath. Well, praise the Lord. Oh, oh. You're mad at somebody. A wrath is really, well, it's more than that. But very angry. Want to hit someone. Uh, but uh, be angry. Sin not. The Holy Ghost will keep us. When the Lord deals with speaking to your heart to, to not say a word, be quiet. God is able to keep us. If we, you know, just humble and humble ourselves and let God take care of that situation. Hebrews 12, 15. Look in diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God. Listen, if you let the enemy souring, uh, give place to the devil, he'll have a, a, a spring up a root of bitterness and bring uh, grudges and, and, uh, and worrying and everything. But God wants us to forgive. He don't want us to get to that place. And, you know, naturally speaking, when people are, are um, physically and mentally, grudges disturb, bothers your body mentally and, and it makes you sick. Praise God. Brings a lot of sickness, high blood pressure and different things. Even affects your organs. Praise God. So, uh, it is, praise God. So, the Lord wants to forgive. He don't want us in that situation. Praise God. Praise God. And then when we forgive... It, it's, uh, we at least that stress that that the, uh, and, and give it to the Lord, praise God. Forgiveness, forgiveness is a path of a, uh, to our mental and emotional freedom. We no longer have to hold ourselves in the bondage based on what someone else did to us. Give it to the Lord. Ask God to help you to forgive. He is not going to ask you to do anything that you cannot do because He's in you. The hope of glory. He's going to do it for you. Praise God. We need his help. We need his help all the time. And Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou shalt keep him in perfect peace, who mine is stayed on thee, because he trusts in thee. And Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lead him to thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. We all, praise God, God wants us to, to forgive. Praise the Lord. We better forgive as commanded. Praise God. It's us Christian people that love Jesus. We forgive and uh, do like the Lord says. Praise God. Don't have no root of bitterness because it means repenting, getting it right with the Lord. You go to that person, get it right, and then get it right with the Lord. Thank the Lord. So I just thank God. God wants us to be free. Praise God. He set us free from the bondage of sin. And we now entangle ourselves again with the yoke of bondage. God bless you, Sister Vanessa. God bless you. I'll be on next Wednesday. Just, uh, Wednesday, if the Lord say so, keep me in your prayers. Love you, and I appreciate you listening. Bye-bye.